dear students of class 10 very good morning today we will study chapter 2 book is first flight and the title of the story is long walk to freedom it's a it's an autobiography of nelson mandela i am going to read the first passage then i will explain this 10th may dawned bright and clear for the past few days i had been pleasantly besieged by dignitaries and world leaders who were coming to pay their respects before the inauguration the inauguration would be the largest gathering ever of international leaders on the south Afri african soil it was 10th may bright sunny day nelson mandela was surrounded by many dignitaries who have come from different part of the world to take part in the inauguration ceremony it was the largest gathering in the history of south africa on its soil now i am going to read the second passage of the story the ceremony took place in the lovely sandstone amphitheater formed by the union building of in pretoria for decades this had been the seat of white supremacy and now it was the site of the rainbow gathering of all different colors and nations of installation of south africa's first non racial government meaning of this passage is this opening ceremony took place in a amphitheater amphitheater means a building having no roof and rows of seats this was a large gathering because previously who ruled in south africa the white people ruled in south africa they have the supremacy over black people this was a large gathering here looks like a rainbow gathering people of different nation people of different color clothes gathered there and this was the first time in the history of the south africa a black non racial government was to be formed on that lovely autumn day i was accompanied by my daughter jenani on the podium mr de clark was the sworn in the second deputy president then thabo mbeki was sworn in first deputy president when it was my turn i pledged to obey and uphold the constitution and devote myself to the well being of the republic and its people to the assembled guests and watching world i say this was the autumn day we all know in the month of may in india it is summer season but because of the location on the earth it is autumn season in south africa on the stage mr d clark was sworn in as the deputy second deputy president mr thabo mbeki was chosen as the first deputy president and he took a oath as a first deputy president then whose turn came it was nelson mandela's turn he devoted himself for the republic of his own nation and people of his nation and he also thankful to the gathered guests assembled guests who were watching the inauguration ceremony today all of us do our presence here confer growth confer glory and hope to new born liberty out of the experience of extraordinary human disaster that lasted too long must be born a society of which all humanity will be proud of nelson mandela addressing the gathered guests and the people of south africa telling them that at last we have got freedom this is the extraordinary disaster in south africa for the black people that was going to be in today now there will be a form of government uh, every person will be proud of 
we who were outlaws not so long ago have today been given the rare privilege to be the host of the nation the world on our own soil we thank all our distinguished international leaders for having come to take position with the people of our country of what is after all a common victory for justice for peace and for human dignity we have at last achieved our political emancipation we pledged ourselves to liberate all the people from the counting bondage of poverty deprivation suffering gender and other discrimination never never and never again shall it be that the beautiful land will again experience the operation of one by another the sun shall never get on so glorious a human achievement let freedom reign god bless south africa now this mandela is saying we were outlaws means they don't have or they didn't have the right to take part in any political system in south africa now they were free and the guests who have come from different part of the country nelson mandela is saying this is the common victory for people for justice they will have peace and every human being will lead their life with dignity now at last nelson mandela is saying we achieved freedom emancipation means freedom then he took a oath that all the people will never uh, uh, feel any discrimination on the basis of gender on the basis of color of the skin nobody will become bond man of others never never in south africa now this system will go further nobody will oppress one another this sun which has risen today will last so long let africa will be a free country and god will bless us the next part of the story or the remaining part of the story students we will study in our next class thank you very much